Hello friends, here we are again, and this time we're going to have a Pokemon battle for the first time in a while. Um, been doing exams, um, vacation and stuff, so yeah, I'm waiting for that to be all the story, so that's why I was on Pokemon for a while, but uh, yeah, now it's Bell's back and stuff. Uh, this was even for SBI, so this is for OLT, but uh, yeah, it's like Winner's Semi or something. So, yeah, so it started right now, I guess. Um, as I said before, SBI started, so more Pokemon bits in the future right now, it's coming to, but... Uh, Anyways, this is lucky and bad. Um, both players are actually pretty lucky and bad right now, but uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see what happens. So um, I don't really know all that so well, so I'm gonna kind of just think. Um, I don't really know what the hell this guy is Blue Cola, but whatever, I guess. Interesting. First time I've seen that in the OU game. Fucking uh, Destiny Unknown, but it was his Hugo on accident. But uh, it's another story, I guess. Anyway, um, so the, I'm pretty sure this is the Songs team. I don't know. I might probably be wrong on that. I don't know. But, um, I've seen, like, this type of team before, um, pretty standard balance, I guess, Tornadus T, probably a Soul Vest, maybe, is my guess, and, uh, this is probably Zelda X, from the matchup, it's probably not, I mean, from the team preview, it's probably not Zelda Y, it's only from the team, and, uh, yeah, Storm is pretty good in Wallace, from what I've seen, so, that's probably that. Meanwhile, Doom is coming through here with the Ludicolo, I don't really know what the hell's going on right now. Why the hell do you have a Ludicolo? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's probably a lane counter team, I don't, like, that's the only explanation I think of, um, but, um, if you weaken Ferrothorn, it can be kind of a threat, but, um, it's gonna be kind of difficult, I think. Um, he does have a huge enemy Ferrothorn as well as, um, Sizzle, maybe for his SD, so. That's that. Also, his mana feet probably tail though. Could be some lane dance thing, though, I don't really know, so. Let's get started, I guess. This game, so. Um, Doom Sleep with Lord Colo as, uh, like, kind of goes with the Tornado Stallion. Then he forced out, obviously, and go for the Hurricane is a lot. It's a salt bath, you can tell by that, um, not like life or something, so. He doesn't have Heat Wave because I guess they don't learn it. I guess it's like U turn, knock off, Hurricane. What would you. Focus Blast, I guess? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. He's gonna have to tell us right now. And, um, yeah. I guess Doomax knows this team because otherwise that was a pretty bad play when it landed us. Um, the Spectres and Chat also saying it was, um, um, Zodex. Maybe he got from that, I don't know. But, um, he obviously knew it was Zodex. It was Zod Y guy to 5 Blast. So. That's probably the best one in this book if he knew it was a Zodex. So, either way. It's definitely Scott for hitting us from damage, he's gonna go for the U-turn here for free pretty much, he's not gonna list the charge so let's switch out now to heat slam, and uh, he's getting knocked off, um, I guess he doesn't feel the focus blast for some reason, but okay, okay, he, do he does, he's gonna switch out now, um, like kind of goes for the U-turn, I guess he doesn't have focus blast, so I don't, I don't know what he has, whatever, he's gonna knock, maybe if we did the switch, I'm not sure, but either way, um, he's gonna knock off the cafe ball, get the leftovers off, and the clear is the calm mind, I don't really know why you call mining when the guy's a heat slant. I don't know what the hell you're trying to accomplish, but okay. Um, I guess he's hoping he doesn't have lure, but he's at taunt, which is pretty awful for him in this case. He can be Clefable one on one, so his moon blast is not going to do that much, so pretty good for the Doom Max right now. He can force this thing out into the Stormy. And we'll have him again. And uh, yeah, no burn, but the Stormy doesn't really matter. It's not analytics, so it's whatever. We got Manaphy now on, on the lap it's been. And yeah. Now he's gonna switch out to Ferrothorn and solid play obviously on Tail Glow. And now um I guess he's gonna go for the scale. He's gonna have Ice Beam, I guess. And uh, I guess the lead seed it was kinda sucks with him. So he's probably gonna switch now. And, uh, yeah, he does. So we're down to huge slam on the spikes. Um those spikes might actually be a pain for Doom Max and it's a lot of his team, but whatever. He's gonna level him again, get the bullet in the storm me. Not really that relevant obviously because of natural here, but whatever. Forces him to heal, I guess. Um so this is gonna come out now, gonna force Lyconic out as uh, he's gonna go for the U-turn probably. Or Hurricane. Oh, and then he misses Hurricane, that's a pretty big deal because um that definitely would have KO this Clefable, so that's a pretty huge hatch for Lyconic. As you can see lucky and bad so gonna happen, but there's a lot more in the future, just wait. So <laughs> he's turn out now into the U turn obviously. Full Clefable count, he's gonna soft boil. And yeah, you know Storm doesn't come out, so he's probably gonna do something. He's good for the locks, the force of spin, I guess. Interesting play. He's, he's just getting worn down, though, by the um, SR, so it's kind of, I don't really know. Whatever. He's gonna bring in Manaphy on this, I guess, knowing he doesn't have Thunderbolt. He's gonna force him onto Ferrothorn as a Manaphy with the tail glow. So he's gonna stay in this time again, trying to try to get the burn. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Doom Rex comes through with the fucking clip burn. <laughs> what a threat. So, gets the clip burn, and now Ferrothorn's clip burn. And as I said before, if he can weaken this, this, this fucking looted coal is actually a major threat, so it's kind of funny actually. He's gonna switch out now, and just stun me, and he trying to switch, pretty good plan on like on his spot there. The scalp now, and uh, he gets some, he just doesn't get the burn. So, so far, Dumex is getting some, um, luck, but then again, he missed the hurricane, which is too much kills for Fable, so. Pretty big deal there, I guess. And he bins out. 
So he's in Pokemon Heatran at Gengar for Stealth Lock. I don't really know why the hell he's in this double switch. Like, his Heatran is getting worn down to shit by spikes. I don't really know. He's in the lab it's been now. I guess this thing has like Tail Glow Energy Ball Scout. I don't know. I guess he's in Ice Beam. I don't really know. Well, like, he's in the Tail Glow again. Um. I mean, yeah, he's gonna tail glow on on the knockoff, and then I mean, then he goes for knockoff, and then he's gonna scout. No bullet, but it doesn't really matter. There's a lot of damage. You can go for scout again. There's a shit ton, and he gets the bullet, which is a pretty big deal out there because it puts into its kill range. So that kind of sucks for Lyconic, and I guess his defense is me, so it's slower than the Manaphy. So go for scout again, get another one. So two mechs just going in with the luck right now, and he dodges the hook. <laughs> Oh my lord. So this new mess is going in with the luck right now, but um, as you'll see in a bit, it kind of gets out. It's a dragon claw play, I don't, that probably didn't matter. It starts with fastest, which means it's probably jolly. Oh, this thing's not really max speed, I don't really know, but I'm guessing this is jolly. That's my guess anyway, so. I'm bringing Landis, and uh, gonna go for the Eastern again on the hip power on switch. Pretty good play in this spot. I'm bringing Ludicolo, and now, because Ferrothorn's building has a major threat right now. So he's gonna go for the lane dance, I'm guessing. Yeah, on the switch. And now you can go for the Hydro Pump, which is a fuck ton of Kill Fable. And like, Connick's healing off or something. I don't even know why. Like, you're, you're not you're not gonna win this. I don't know. Like, this is a shit play. I don't know why it would heal up there. It doesn't make any sense, honestly. Like, you gain nothing from that because you're just getting 2 HK. You might as well just Moonblast at this point. Like, I don't, I don't know. He's going for the miss, I guess. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. Like, like Light Heal, though. Like,. Uh, yeah, like light healer, you've already healed at 55%, you know you're gonna die, like, I might lose with the fail point like I don't know. But, um, this is staying, going for the miss. And, uh, <laughs> he gets it, oh my god, so, Ash is hitting me out, and he gets the fucking special attack drop, and that's big. Because that puts this thing out of KO lane, so, that's what, like, Connie was going for, I guess, I don't really know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess his plan was just to keep softballing until he missed. Except he didn't softball this till then, it's one for the hacks, I don't know. It, I, I don't know, it really doesn't make sense, but he got the hacks, that's all that matters. So, yeah, hacks is just going, this, this is just full of hacks, it's pretty funny right now. So, uh, yeah, switch out here on this, to the sizzle on this off world, because obviously Hydro Pump won't kill it now. Lin's gonna whirl off now, and the lander switch, pushing the double switch to, putting the switch to, um, Charizard. Go put in this poison, you turn out again, probably, on the hip out on switch. Pretty obvious, like, Hana can't risk losing, can't risk losing his Charizard to Earthquake. Um, he has no EQ as is, so this Paladin goes down, it's obviously a problem. You can go for Hydro Pump here pretty safely. I can go for Giga Drain though, I don't really know why. Uh, Hydro Pump was a better play, honestly. Like, that was a kind of a shit move too. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, Ferris on Fleet Weekend anyway. Now he miss he's gonna miss the Focus Blast, so that's also huge. Because now, um, this thing can heal up some more. And, yeah. And, I guess here, he's bringing a Switch. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess he put in for I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't focus blast the game. I don't know why he did that. I guess he put in the switch to Clefable and then a switch. I don't know. I think focus blast is a better play that anyway. But whatever. He's new to an out. Sizzle and force the lead seed and then come back in and then <laughs> and then he's gonna miss the hurricane on the Charizard, which is also big. So um, Doomex, Laconic got the first half of the hurricane miss. Then Doomex came back rolling with the hacks and now Laconic's going in with the hacks again. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> The epitome of lucky and bad. Two players just going in. Oh my god. And he's gonna dragon dance on the hurricane. And that's pretty much gonna be a snack lab. He's gonna dragon claw, take out the tornadoes, and then yeah, flood looks this, and that's gonna be the game, so yeah. Pretty unfortunate that that, that hurricane miss didn't really matter unless um he got the what's it called? Unless he got the confusion or something, which would have been more hacks, but uh yeah. In the end I think I think like Connor got more lucky on um, this because of the hydro pumice and stuff, that was kind of an issue, so that's that, so <laughs> yeah, I've really enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, post more SBO battles when they happen. So yeah, I've really enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, peace, fun, we are you.